Okay, this here's space. a here's the thing that I've been wanting to know. I think everybody's gonna like this. Estimated date of C band deployment, like mm. turned on. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let me preface this by saying that we've been seeing on Cell Mapper subreddit, we've been seeing it on Verizon subreddit, we've now even seen it on AT&T subreddit, multiple test sites of C-band. 40 megahertz is doing 600 plus Mbps on low power, speed man. On low power, Jesus. That's encouraging, uh, that's it's, encouraging. It's really good, it's really good. It's traveling a significant you know, distance, you know, mm. a couple miles. Uh, it's propagating similar to band two. So what's your take? So I'm I'm really excited about C band. I've seen what it's been like in terms of its current testing and it's encouraging. I also like what we've seen in terms of how it's performing in Europe over the course of the last year or two years. Right. It's really, really encouraging. I gotta see how it performs with each carrier. It's gonna be a little different mm -hmm. because each carrier is gonna be utilizing different gear. Right. So like Verizon's gonna use um they're going to use Ericsson and Samsung. Uh, T-Mobile's going to use, well, they're like Block B and C. I think they're actually Block C, whatever. They're going to be using Nokia probably, right? Maybe right. a little bit of Ericsson, depending on the market. Right. Depending on the market. And then, and then AT&T's everywhere. They have Samsung, Nokia, and Ericsson. So if you ask me, I think Ericsson will have the highest quality antennas. I think Samsung is going to be very close. Uh, Samsung? Hold up, hold up. I think Samsung is going to be very close. Okay. I still think Ericsson just has the pedigree, right? Because they've, they've mm -hmm. already started doing really nice things with 5G antennas. But that's pedigree in the U.S. Remember, Samsung's yeah. been in Asia for many years. Yeah, so I, that's why I'm kind of saying, like, I have to go with the known commodity. Right. You know, I'm not going to go out on a limb. Yeah, but I think Samsung's going to be pretty close. Right. Verizon is not going to dump Nokia going out on a limb. Right. They f obviously felt good about what Samsung was bringing to the table. Right. So I, I can't discount Samsung completely. I have to put them at least as approaching or emerging. Right. So uh, I think I think Ericsson will have the, the top end gear. I think Samsung will be right there pretty close. And I think Nokia is going to be playing catch up when it comes to C band gear. So I th but I I do think that Samsung's going to be able to provide the most antennas for Verizon in terms of Sam in terms of C band gear. So of like those first 7 or 8,000 sites, I think a lot of that is going to be Samsung gear. So people will be looking up at these antennas seeing all the Samsung stuff going up. It'll mm -hmm. be for C band and they're also going to provide a different set of antennas for CBRS too. You know, I just watched that whole event, that virtual event for Samsung. It's encouraging. They've got great technology. The beam forming is going to be game changing. Mm -hmm. You know, the these the connection is going to track your phone. It's literally searching for your phone all the time, and it's going to stay connected. Dude, it's going to be great. It's going to be broadcasting at high power, so it's going to perform mm -hmm. in range like PCS. And if it can propagate walls, you know, like... You know, I don't. I don't know if I want to compare it to anything. If it's as good as EBS BRS, or if it's as good as WCS, I mean that would be incredible. You know, so man, it's getting it's, it's getting full power treatment. So I'm excited. If it's going to be like WCS, need man. I mean, you've seen it firsthand, man. As soon as it's on on a cell site, Jesus, bro. At my house, WCS minus one eleven RSRP. Jesus, we'll that's get, not even that good. But go it's ahead. Not, it'll get 260 megabits per second. See, there we go. Imagine C band. Imagine C band. Kind of the maybe the C band scale to kind of like jumpstart C band. Yes, yeah, so like pops you need to or give something me the day. like that. Like, give me an approximate. You think it's this okay. quarter? I got, sure? I got. No, I got C band being a thing in like like last week of October, like last October 24th. October. Yeah, like C band. Like, like going live broadcasting, like yeah, like people, yeah. like you and I can use yeah. it, test it. Yeah. Uh huh. Why October? Yeah. I don't, because they said Q4, and we've already seen the FCC granting exceptions for testing and broadcasting. So, to me, that screams that testing is ahead of schedule, and the carriers are being aggressive with it. We've already seen sites getting hardware. Um, Verizon's upgrading the routers. 
the radios, the antennas, the backhaul. They're doing a lot of stuff. I've already seen in the CLE an AT&T C-band site. So I'm going, I'm going end of October, like last week of October, first week of November, the latest. I think we're going to be seeing speed tests from C-band, 40 megahertz channels, 60 megahertz channels. Do you think that Verizon is going to be... It's going to be NSA though, Moose. No, wait, wait, wait. So do you think, Sneed, man, that Verizon is going to be at Apple's keynote for the iPhone 12S or iPhone 13? Are they going to... That would make sense, right, Moose? Are they going to announce at a... You know, whatever the date is. Yeah, but do you right? do you announce that you're going to be seeing like, oh hey, we got this great new spectrum? Like people don't know that language. You know, the 72 people here in the live might, but <laughs> are you going to go up there? Hey, we got C band, and everybody's going to be like, huh? Well, what? people didn't even know what the hell millimeter wave was. Yeah, but they made it clear, 5G, 5G, all that stuff. Like, they just kept on going with it. It was like know? over 200 times that they said 5G. <laughs> you know? It was crazy. <laughs> they had to sell people something. You know, what were you going to sell them on the camera? I mean, this year, like I said, it's going to be probably in the S12. It's, it's a, like you said, it's a tick, not a talk. Yeah. Right? It's just a gradual upgrade. Um, now... Is C band that transformative spectrum that we need? Of course, right? It's going to revolutionize 5G for, you know, Verizon, AT&T. Beginning of quarter to show greater quarterly launch. So I say beginning of October. Okay. See, the issue, the issue is going to be, uh, oh, and by the way, my prediction is going to be it's in late September. By the way, late September. And you guys just keep bumping it up, man. Wow. I'm telling you, dog. Let's do it. Let's say, you know, late August. Then. <laughs> well, that- uh, let's say C-Band gets launched late September, right? I thought that in June we were going to have SA turned on, right? Right, Sneema? Standalone? Um. I don't know. Each carrier looks like they're in a different place, Moose. Yeah. I don't know. What do you What do you got Verizon at? Q1 2022? I think they're going to probably do it in separate markets first. Wow. You know? What do you got AT&T at? Uh, maybe in by Q2. Same situation? Market dependent? Yep. Market dependent. Yeah. I still think that they they need at least a full year before SA to be completely honest with you. Um, a year from today. Uh, a year from September, because then that would give them enough time to put enough C band everywhere. You know. Yeah, the interference issues. Carlos did a nice job of highlighting it. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's a really really bad situation. 